Uh, my name is Kevin Fordney. I live in Vancouver, Washington. I'm a retired elementary school uh, principal. I'll be 75 this summer. And in uh, January of 2020, I was diagnosed with stage four prostate cancer metastasized to the bone. Needless to say, it was a shock, no symptoms, um, but through some routine checkups and um, what we thought were minor problems, I ended up having a prostate biopsy. And when I got the call back, it was sort of gruesome. It was like, well, be happy you don't have bladder cancer, but you do have the worst prostate cancer that I've seen. Your Gleason scores are all 9 and 10. So that's a phone call with to somebody who really didn't know anything about prostate cancer. Within two weeks, it was determined that the, I had massive bone mats all through my spine and ribs and pelvis. And I was immediately put on the uh, aggressive treatment uh, regimen. Here was a group that might extend my life somehow by something I would learn. I knew they were way more scientifically based. And I joked with Brian and said, I'm the liberal arts guy. I can't follow most of this. But I believe in what you're doing. I want to be part of this. The, the vision to have patients take more control of their own treatment, to be able to be more informed when you go meet with your oncologist, to be able to have intelligent discussions and put significant questions on the table. And the fact that there were weekly learning sessions, but monthly patient support group with these brilliant guys. And the only unfortunate ticket into the group is you have to be very late stage prostate cancer, running out of standard of care options. I knew I was going to be there very soon. So the prostate cancer lab is continuing the more I stay with them to shape some of the treatment I get, definitely to shape my ability to be a partner with my medical oncologist in trying to design what's the next best care for me. Because the lab and all the participants, some of them are going through some of the same treatments I have some of them have been through things. Some of them have warned me about don't do this, don't do that. It's not as great as it's cracked up to be. You might want to ask your oncologist this. Don't let them tell you that. It's these kind of discussions. And I want to be careful to say the prostate cancer lab has a high regard for medical oncologists not such a high regard for the whole system right now because the medical oncologists are so overworked that they barely have time to stay up with their practice. And they can't be expected to know everything about everything, but they can be expected to listen and to take input and to do some research along with the patient. So I've been fortunate to be at the Night Cancer Center and most everything that I have received pretty much falls in line with what Prostate Cancer Lab would recommend. But I am at a point now where I am literally at the end or very close to the end of standard of care and so I'm at a point where I think I'm going to be relying on the lab even more to help me bring 
possible treatment options to the table to discuss with my oncologist. I feel much more confident saying, this is what the research says. This is what I've been reading. This is what I'm hearing. What do you think? I'm not sure this is as good as it's touted to be. Those are not conversations that I even fathomed I would be having when I first was diagnosed. So I'm meeting for the very first time with a new medical oncologist, Dr. Sokolova, but the fact that I need to be meeting her and we have some decisions to make, without the confidence in some of the things I've learned from the prostate lab, I'd just be going to that meeting saying, what do you think? I'm going to that meeting with like, hey, I know the first meeting is supposed to be get to know you, but hi, I'm Kevin. We got work to do. And that in and of itself, uh, in God's timing, I'm much more prepared to make a shift to a new oncologist than I would have ever been two years ago.